The square in Millersburg, Dauphin County hasn't changed much since August 5th, 1989. It was the last place, the last time anyone saw Tracy Crow. That night we went to our cars after we closed here and they were hanging out over here on the corner with a bunch of kids. Irene Law remembers it well. She didn't really know Crow and didn't think much about it until... I came to work the next morning and her car was sitting over here on the corner and all the police were all around it. The case quickly grabbed the attention of the community and investigators. We, we have no idea what we're dealing with here. Mm -hmm. we, have, we just have no idea on the disappearance. And while some speculated she ran away, her own parents didn't believe that. I think something happened that, I mean, like someone took her. Over the years, Tracy's disappearance remained top of mind. In 1993, state police found items from her wallet, including a portion of her driver's license near Dauphin County Creek. Her family offered rewards, updated her picture, and worked to keep the search for Tracy alive. Then, in 2001, a major development. We believe Tracy Crow's disappearance is tied closely to someone she knew. And that there's someone out there hopefully watching today with the information that can provide that missing piece. Fran Chardo's been with the Dauphin County District Attorney's Office for nearly three decades. He's been heavily involved in Crow's disappearance most of that time. I'd just like uh, there to be a resolution that uh, gives closure uh, to the family. In recent years, the case has been active. Investigators say after Matthew Allen Webster's Dolphin County property was searched in 2016, he told a friend he was involved in Crow's disappearance. It was supposed to be just a rape and done, but then it turned out to be a lot more than that. Webster was later taped talking to that friend about changing her statement. You don't understand, I have kids to worry about. No one's going to know. And he's already hurt one person, he's going to hurt me too. No. He lied to a grand jury about the conversation, then pled no contest to perjury charges. He's never faced additional charges. Since then, News 8 has been on the scene as several properties connected to this man, 89-year-old Mark Eugene Warfel, were searched. Warfel himself told News 8 state police were at his former Mountain Road home looking for Crow's remains. Are her remains here? Hell no, I have nothing to do with it. Chardo won't comment on the searches or if Warfel is a person of interest. I, I, I don't use those terms. Uh, I let the record speak for itself. The record does speak. In this transcript of a hearing involving Warfel, a trooper testified Warfel is under investigation in connection with the disappearance and homicide of Tracy Crow. A wiretap of a conversation between Warfel and one of Crow's sisters was also introduced as evidence. We thought them very significant uh, statements made on that recording. So far, though, police have not charged Warfel in Crow's disappearance. Chardo is aware the clock is ticking. There is an, an element of, of time passing and you want to bring closure to, to a family. That's certainly there, but you want to do things correctly. And Shannon, WGAL News 8.